What's up everyone, how are you doing? So this is the FIBS 3.0 video and we will talk about some of the perfect entries that you could get using FIBS in conference with other things. So as you know, we started talking about this strategy just using Fibonacci levels and waiting for the market to take a direction, pull back to our FIB levels and continue Wait, in this case. Uh, will be something like that. All right. So, market taking a uh, direction, coming back to our FIB levels, continuing into uh, the same direction. And we are basically using them to spot the pullback in order to follow the direction of the market. So, this is a very good thing because, as I always say, we try to follow the direction of the market, we don't try to go against. What the market is doing at least like 90 percent of the times uh, and this is very good because using the fibonacci you can spot the retracements that uh, you want to actually catch and enter in order to follow that direction now as i said already as i showed you already we're not using the 0 0.28 0 0.50 and so on uh, because these strategies have been backtested has been backtested for a very long time these are the levels that i am using and as we covered already no need to uh, actually repeat it we are drawing the fibs from the bodies of the candles and not from the wicks now with that being said uh, how to add confluence and how to spot possible uh, perfect trades using fibs now I know that this video is like in the in the middle of the course, but what I recommend you to do is that you are covering the first two videos of the Fibonacci strategy, and then you can watch this video, but also come back to this video after you have finished the course because you will have a deeper understanding of the market. And I'm very sorry for making you you know go back and forth uh, with the videos but it is necessary so you can understand the market structure which we will cover later market structure uh wyckoff with one minute entries also supply and demand which is really important keep in mind that so far we've covered su support and resistance and all of that stuff that is useful to understand the possible direction of the market but it is not enough to trade that's why later we have supply and demand, we have market structure, which is actually how banks and financial institutions are trading. Now, uh, with that being said, the Fibonacci strategy works great with the first two videos that you saw, like you don't need uh, necessarily something extra, but if you really want to even be more precise, more accurate, then watch this video complete the course and come back to this video later. Reason why is because together with FIBS, we will be using um, supply and demand levels and possibly work of entries. Now, keep in mind that this specific strategy is being taught in the 15 minutes, but if you see on my other videos with the Fibonacci's, I basically use the FIBS in every single time frame. I use the FIBS in four hours, you can use them in the daily, you can use them in the one hour, you can use them basically everywhere if used correctly. Now, for this strategy to actually put together a strategy where you can just use the FIBS and maybe put something, something else together for Confluence, we are only using the 15 minutes or even the five minutes if you want to really uh, go even lower. Now, Let's see if we get some good examples. Like I didn't prepare an example because I always prefer to show you like live examples. So let's say you're doing your overall analysis starting from higher time frames. Possibly you see that right here we are bearish right now. I know this isn't an accurate trend line, but you can see market structure, and this is why I say to. Uh, finish the course and then come back later. Market structure is bearish. We do have a trend that is bearish, lower highs, lower lows. And then what happens right here? Right here, we do have the spring. This is the spring 
This is another concept that you will see later. Spring taking out the lows, grabbing liquidity, like a fake breakout. It is actually a spring and grabs liquidity. Big push to the upside. This big push to the upside is, of course, leaving behind some uh, demand areas. Now, of course, there is a demand area from all the way down here, which hasn't been, which is still fresh. This is, these are all concepts that you will see later, but it is still fresh because it hasn't been tested yet. We just went straight to the opposite. Now, this is our favorite setup for the FIB levels because market structure is changing. We are also, we had some manipulation. We are going to the upside. So this could be a good beginning of a new trend or at least to catch some movements to the, to the upside. Maybe after this, we will just go straight to the downside. We don't know yet, but right now, we don't really care because the FIB strategy, we just care about the replacement and we don't really care about what happens uh, after we take our trade and close it into profit. So we go to the upside, we draw our FIBs from the bottom to the top. As you can see from here to here, uh, which is the overall move. And then we start retracing. We start retracing and as you can see, we basically perfectly touched the zero sixty two before continuing. So, as per our FIB strategy, this is enough to take the trade. You know, uh, change of structure, some manipulation, some movement to the upside, breaking the trend line, breaking the previous size, uh, went to the upside, started retracing. On the retracement, we do have our FIB level, which is perfectly uh, held. Let's say that we took an entry from here, we target at the same high, or we could even target the minus 0 0.7, but still, and stop loss be below the 0 0.79, and we already have almost a one to three risk reward ratio. Of course, we started teaching this strategy with a one to one risk reward uh, because it was back tested. <clears throat> Sorry, it was back tested with a one to one. And it was working great, great accuracy and everything. But of course, if you can stay a little bit more in the chart, and once we go to profit, you move stop loss and entry, and so on, this strategy is going to work great for you. Now, let's see on lower time frames what we have. If we have confidence for the entry, let's go to the three minutes, for example, we could do one minute three, of course, and see what we have right here. So we do have a demand from here. We do have a demand from here, of course. And we do have a demand area from here. So this down candle before the upside, or if we want to take also this smaller one, but it's basically the same. So down candle, candle of the opposite color before the big push to the upside. <clears throat> and of course, we have many, we have many demand areas. This one, this one, this one, also higher right here. But which one are we actually interested in? We're interested in the one that has confluence with our entry. So we don't care about the one all the way in the bottom right here. We don't care about this one. We don't care about this one right here, for example. We only care about the one that is actually corresponding to our FIB levels. So 0 0.62 Fibonacci level is corresponding to our demand area. We come back to that area. This could have been a good entry already. And we can actually, if we don't have any other demand area in between the 0 0.79 and 0 0.705, we can actually have an amazing risk reward right here. Stop loss just below that area, just below that demand area, all right? One to 11. Now, of course, if we do have like a demand at the 0 0.705, in that case, we have two possible entries and we cannot put the stop loss just below it. We will need a bigger stop loss, maybe a one to two or one to three risk to reward ratio. <clears throat> now, let's see in the, in the one minute what is happening. If we, well, in this case, the one minute we are not really having a schematic, uh, which is playing out because, uh, but it is already enough 
confirmation to take a print because as I said already change in market structure, change in trend, Fibonacci levels, pull back to those Fibonacci levels, we put a demand area, we find the demand area that corresponds to our FIBs, we enter at that demand area. Now, even better if we have a one minute schematic right here. And of course, this will be all later in the course. So make sure to come back later. This is very important. This is a very good strategy that you can use just on the 15 minutes and looking for confirmation on five minutes one, and one minute. <clears throat> now, if we had a uh, one minute schematic, like of schematic right here, even better. Like for example, uh, this was the break of the previous structure. So this was the structure to the downside, broken, went to the upside, secondary test. And right here, it would have been perfect to see a nice fake out, grab of liquidity with the spring, pull back to the inside the our area. So we understand that we're still bullish. Test of the spring continuation to the upside with an entry right here. This would have been the perfect entry right here. Stop loss just below the spring. Take profit at max high right here. One to five almost with the world ratio. Now, <clears throat> the spring didn't happen. Uh, you could have still taken the trade. If you take the trade uh, without the spring, make sure to have a stop loss that is big enough to avoid being stopped out by possible liquidity grabs. And with that being said, uh, if you wait for the spring, even better. Now, let's see if we have some other examples on the 15 minute time frame for, for our FIB strategy. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, what's going on? All right, all right. So, yeah, possibly here. So we were bearish, as you can see, I'm not even putting accurate trend lines. We were bearish, uh, market structure was bearish and creating lower highs and lower lows. And then what happens here? Here, we start reversing. Well, other than the fact that this is a spring, as you can see, grab of liquidity before the push, test of the spring, possible entry here. But other than that, since we don't have confirmation that we're turning bullish, now, once we break the market structure, so previous highs, all these highs, all these highs are being broken, we are turning bullish. And we also broke the trend line if, you, if we want to really look at trend lines. <clears throat> now, broke above it and we started accumulating again, re-accumulating. Uh, we put down our fibs, make sure to use the move that broke the structure, the leg that broke the structure. You heard this even on the previous videos. So uh, this is the leg that is breaking previous structure, all right? Also, this structure is broken by this leg, all right? So this is the structure. Previous size are the structure, basically, if you want me to clarify. So this is the structure, this is the structure. When it is being broken by this move, like not any previous move broke the structure. This move is breaking the structure, all right? And we're turning bullish. This move is breaking the trend line if we want to look at trend lines. So we're turning bullish with this move. We draw the fibs from that area and we go to lower time frames to look at possible confluence. Now, please tell me that we didn't miss that setup. Let me see. Five minutes, maybe. Let's see, on five minutes, even if I prefer the one minute for these type of things. So, five minutes, we can clearly see that we do have a demand from here. All right, perfect demand from here, as you can see. Uh, down candle before the big candle to the upside, of course, we do have a demand area all the way down here, but 
keep in mind that we are using the areas that have onkels. Now, this is our demand, and let's see what happens once we reach that demand, which corresponds on to the 0 0.705. So this is where we want to get our entry. Now, here wasn't touched yet. Here we are starting to touch the demand area. Now you have two options. You just enter right away, which of course is the option, which is, let's call it more uh, risky. The reason why it's risky is because you don't have really uh, any type of wipe of confirmation, any type of one minute entries. Stop was below the 0 0.79, uh, maybe even right here. Uh, 3.2 risk to reward ratio, which is great. We are targeting, or oh, we're not even targeting the previous size. Well, we could target this previous size right here, which was reached uh, 3.5 risk to reward, or we could actually target the zero level, which is a one uh, to almost one to five risk to reward ratio, right? And of course, it was key. Now, if you don't want to enter right away and you want to wait for confirmation, look at what happens. Now, I cannot show you the pattern on the one minute, which I really like to see on the one minute, and it looks better with all of the schematic. But look, here you have your accumulation. So basically, uh, stop thinking like a retail trader and start thinking that people are seeing an accumulation at a possible area of interest. Therefore, they are entering buys with stop loss below this box, basically, right? Now, we are breaking below this box. A lot of people are entering sales because they see a break and retest of the box. Basically, they're entering sales and see what happens later. They're being stopped out. So both buyers and sellers are being stopped out. We don't care about entering either here or of course, we're not <laughs> interested in entering sales, of course. And we see this box, we see that this is uh, above and below this box, there are areas of liquidity. Liquidity is being taken out by the spring. Make sure to watch the one minute entries with white box, schematics. This is the spring here on the one minute or three minutes. We probably had like the um, selling time as automatic rally, secondary test. Uh, possible first spring and if you remember there is sometimes there is uh, the first spring and second spring so this is the first spring little push to the upside of course this isn't a confirmation to enter we, just because we have the spring doesn't mean that we are entering so this would have been uh, a no entry for us because we didn't pull back inside the area of interest where we understand that this was just a spring and we're turning bullish here, right? Now, look at what happens. We have manipulation to the downside, spring happening right here, strong push to the upside. The strong push to the upside is leaving behind some demand areas and also, most importantly, is breaking even this structure, this structure to the downside, lower lows, lower highs is broken by this one. So as you can see, it is fractal. Like you, you see uh, on the 15 minutes, we saw basically the same setup. As you can see, market structure broken, Fibonacci levels, and then zooming in in the five minutes or possibly three minutes and one minute, you see uh, the same thing. We are bearish. We have the spring, after the spring, we go to the upside, breaking the previous size, all the previous size being broken, and then we start having a retracement. Guess what you can do right here with your fibs? Put down your fibs and guess what you have? It actually, it is kind of confusing. Let me move this thing right here. Oh, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it wasn't correct. So here you put your fibs and guess what you have right here? Entry right here. Let's say you don't enter correctly at the 0 0.79. Even if we do have a demand right here, you see the down candle before the strong push to the upside. Let's say you enter at the 0 0.705 just to do something, you know, in between 
uh, the possible field areas. All right, right there. Stop loss below the spring. This is a seven pip stop loss. Possibly targeting these highs first, one to four years to road ratio, but look at the bigger picture when we had the FIPS right here. What if we target those highs? One to six years to road ratio, even better, all right? Now, if we go to the one minute, we can possibly have even a smaller stop loss uh, just by looking at possible schematics inside here, because right now uh, trading view doesn't let me go on the one minute, but possibly these candles, which are five minute time frames, uh, have a white of schematic. So uh, let me actually delete everything so you can see. So uh, possible selling climax, automatic rally, secondary test, spring. You see this week to the downside, spring rubbing liquidity of the previous support established right here. Let me see, and then move to the upside. So possibly after we move to the upside, retest this spring right here. So test of the spring could have had an entry right there. Stop loss below the spring, basically. Uh, two pips stop loss. I know it's crazy, but this is the nature of the market, which is fractal. We saw the same setup on the 15 minutes, same setup on the five minutes inside of that 15 minute setup, and possibly same setup on the one minute right here, uh, breaking this move and everything. Let me see if we can go to the three minutes. Maybe if we can show you this thing, we can get something similar. Of course, it will not be the one minute, but a oh, okay. Let's see. I don't think it, it is as good as the one minute, but yeah, no, we need the one minute. Let me try again. I'm pretty sure you understood what I mean, but of course, it is already great when we have uh, one to five weeks to work using. Uh, the 15 and five minutes and possibly three minutes. But of course, you know, if we can get a three pips stop loss using, no, it doesn't look. Well, you get the point. There are many, many setups like this. I know it's crazy. Make sure to watch the supply and demand video. Make sure to master the Fibonacci levels. Make sure to understand Wyckoff entries and where we want to look at the Wyckoff entries because Keep in mind, this is something that I haven't even said in other videos, and I'm about to make a video about this. You can see one of entries everywhere. You can see the schematics everywhere. You can see the liquidity grabs, the springs, and all of that, basically everything in, uh, everywhere, sorry, in the graph. You can see them everywhere. Now, keep in mind that Seeing them everywhere doesn't mean that we can enter everywhere in the market. We want to enter at our point of interest. So in this case, we had the FIBs, we had the supply, or we had the demand, but we can have the supply if it is uh, going to the downside. And then at those areas, we're looking for white of entries because those are our point of, points of interest. Well, that being said, I hope you like this video. I know that this will change a lot your views in the market. It's crazy how we can see the same pattern on many time frames. This will help you get very, very accurate entries. Of course, like any of our other strategies, we will not have 100% accuracy. But trust me, with those type of risk to reward ratios, if you then move stop loss and entry and manage your risk correctly, it will go crazy. Also, because uh, I'm not saying that it works 100% of the time, but we are going to have good accuracy using this. Right, with that being said, I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next video.